Yep, so this is my old coffee machine. It's the uh, Gaggia Espresso Maker, the classic Gaggia. I've had it uh, for several, several years and it was a good coffee machine. Uh, well built and uh, you know it did it did very well it just uh, you know literally I've had this thing for maybe five years and uh, maybe six and it just conked out on me it uh, no longer could turn on and after a lot of internet research I made the call and decided it wasn't capable of being fixed on my part and uh, not worth shipping anywhere to get it fixed. So uh, even though the, it has classic Gaggi on here, there's actually, um, they appear to have manufactured this differently on the insides, even though they use the same name for it over the years. So if you search on Google to find a fix for a non-turning on Gaggi, espresso maker then uh, you'll find some things about pulling fuses and the fuses are, fuses are in X place well they're not on mine <laughs> they're not to be found I'll give you an internal view here yeah so this is what it looks like on the inside you know there's uh, if anything I think those Top parts are black fuses, but top black parts, right? I can't hold, I can't show you right there, but around there, those might be it. You can pull those out and replace them. Could be totally wrong, but uh, could not find anything else that might be that. And after a lot of hours of frustration, decided it wasn't worth it. This video is not about saying this coffee machine is bad or anything. It's just. Uh, you know, I've, I have upgraded and gone to a different one, the Rencilio Silva one. And I have used that one for about a week now. And I say, yeah, that it is an upgrade from from this one, what I had. Again, if you're limited funds, you got to have a copy at home and you, you can afford a little bit of money to get one of these. I think they're just fine. Um, like I said, I used this thing for years, two to three times a day. And it was... Uh, it, it worked really good. So you just load up the espresso in here. The uh, double shot espresso is bigger on this one than it is on the Rancilio. The steamer on the Rancilio is way better than this one. This one's plastic. It's not, you can, I guess you can't even do that. It's kind of fixed. The other one, the Rancilio swivels all around, kind of up and out. So that's very helpful. Uh, this one is faster in heating up and faster in in getting the steam ready. It has less buttons, so in a way it's less complex. On and off, steam or no steam, or coffee, water or, or not. Um, but the reason why this one's faster in heating up than the Rancilio is because the Rancilio has a brass boiler, and that just gonna is going to take uh, more time to heat up. My big complaint about this particular coffee machine is that there's this uh, water drum right down here and you, you can pour you could pour the water through this hole and it'll go into the water drum and that's how you fill it and that's just fine and you cover it but then there's a there's a gap of space so it's just open so my fingers in the water reservoir right here and uh, what happens is dirt and unfortunately sometimes bugs fly in here as well so you know it you can roll through the water quickly but you should basically at least every week or so take this all apart it's not hard but just a little time consuming there's also a nozzle right here that you'd have to take off as well Take this out, clean it really good, put it in the washer almost, and get rid of all this. It gets real slimy. And any kind of debris, I've seen flies in there, it's disgusting. So that's the part I hated about this coffee machine, that uh, this open space 
could track different things. So, I don't know, maybe you can put a, a plastic wrap or something around it right there. But yeah, that was kind of a drag. Again, it did make good espresso. It takes, with any of these things, they all take practice. So if you buy it and you're, you know, you're struggling with it for a week, then I'll say don't give up. Just keep reading the book, watch some YouTube videos around other people doing it. You may even have issues how you're grinding your coffee. Believe it or not, having a good grinder can significantly uh, improve drastically. You won't, you won't even believe how much better it will be with the right grinder. So again, this video is not about discouraging you uh, from buying this. I would just say this is kind of a post-use review of this uh, coffee maker. I would recommend to buy it if you have uh, the funds. Um, if you're starting out with your very first home espresso machine, I would say this is a good one to buy. Thanks, folks.